Was that any? Did you expect that? Did people warn you? Like, look, this stuff goes in the can. It gets recut, gets re-edited, and you're going to see stories played out in ways that didn't play out um, when you were there. But just because of the way the editors tell the story, did you expect any of that? Um, I expected it, but like I always say, if it never came out your mouth, they can't say you said it. Right. If it was something that you never did, they can't say that you did it. So regardless of how it's played out, the situations did go down, the words were said, and it is what it is. So, yeah. I mean, with me, I said most of the stuff to people's faces. Right. You know, like, yeah, we had our interviews, but most of the stuff that came out of my mouth, I actually said to other people's face, and I just stayed true to Royce, so... I mean, that's what you got to do, and that's how, honestly, when you do reality, you end up as a standout, when you just be yourself. Yeah. You know? Now, what do people say to you on the street? Like, do people come up to you now? Like, what's it like? They do, and I think it kind of shocks people because I'm still in my, like, T-shirts and ponytails and, like... But that's when you're... I'm, hey, I have to say, that's kind of when you're at your hottest, Royce, just the natural Royce Reed. Royce, yeah. We don't... Royce, it doesn't look like you need to do much. Yeah. Oh, thanks. I mean, looks like you rolling out of bed is what most women are hoping for on a good day. That's what I'm hoping for on a good day too, and I'm not a woman. Aww, I mean, I'm. Thanks. I would love this shot that we have here. I would. I might wear this. this yeah, that's a great. Yeah, let's hold that shot up. I wish I could wear. You know that little shot. I love he that. He won't let go of it. He won't let go. I of won't. It. Royce, you look hot. It's a great picture. Thank you. So you go to the supermarket. Aww. You go to the supermarket. Pick up a little milk, maybe a couple apples, and what do people say? Um, they're just like, you look just like that girl. And I'm like, hi. They're like, it's you. I'm like, yeah. Oh, my God, you're even shorter than you look on TV. Or they're like, you know, I thought, I thought like, you guys walked around in, like, high heels and dresses. I was like, is that how you saw me on the show? And they're like, well, no, but I thought, like, now you would. I'm like, uh-uh. Yeah, no, you, boo. You got to still, still get up and do your thing. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's not going to change who I am, so... What's the biggest thing that's changed? Yeah, for what you? has changed for you? Um, just the get recognized more on the street, but that to me, like being in Orlando when I was dancing, because it's not a lot of like stars, you know, that come through Orlando. It's like people recognize the dancers, people recognize mm. the players. So, I mean, Orlando is really small, and the majority of people do attend the games at some point. So they recognize you anyway. So it wasn't something that was new to me. Now, when I'm like in L.A. or when I go to Miami and it happens, that's when I'm kind of like, oh, hey. And what are the me. what are the comments? What are, what kind of comments and feedback do you normally get? It's always positive. Uh-huh. It's like, um, don't let those girls bring you down. Um, I love you on the show. You're you know you keep it real. Don't change. Um, but sometimes they'll be like, even though I didn't like that you said this, I appreciate that you kept it real. So, I mean, nobody has come up to me and been like, you know, I want to kick your A or something. Right. I, 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 think, I honestly incident. get the feeling if they did, you wouldn't really be scared of them. Yeah, and you know that you got two guys up here in New York now. Yeah, you now have a boyfriend in New York, so you just tell them I'll come deal. Right, yeah. I mean, you know, I might like... It depends on how big they are. <laughs> yeah. If they're, like, two feet taller than me, weighing, like, 300 pounds, I'll probably, like, hit them and run. <laughs> but, <laughs> I mean... Look, you got to do what you got to do. My parents kind of get mad at me now because I still, like, go out by myself. And they're like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I went out by myself before. Why can't I do it now? Exactly. So. <laughs> What's the... All right, we, we have to go to a commercial, and our time with you is going to be done in a few short minutes, which is a bummer. First of all, loved having you on the show. And loved. will you do it again? Will you be back with oh, us? Of course. You guys Excellent. are fun. Thank you. Uh, it's the Terrence. We're dating now. So hey. Yeah, That's we're dating. Right. We're dating. Well, I don't know <laughs> if you can tell. we get married that. on the show? Yeah. But I want it to be a three-way okay, configuration. That's fine. Okay? We can do like a little big, big love. Big love. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay. A gay guy, straight guy, and a beautiful woman. Right. Coming oh, to cool. CBS. What? All right. Before you go, Royce, tell us what's next for you. What's What's the next project? What's coming up now that you've got, like you said, national exposure? You're in LA. You're in Miami. You're being noticed more so than just Orlando. What's the next thing for you? What? Where's your move? I'm hoping to use this as a stepping stone to boost my you know, acting career. I went to FAMU, majored in theater education. So I've been acting since I was ten. I've been dancing since I was six. So. I'm hoping that this is like a stepping stone to pursue other things because I don't want to just be this reality show star. So hopefully it opens some doors for me, and we'll see what happens. Excellent. 
I think it's going to open plenty of doors for you. Me too. And I love when people have a plan. Like, they're not just like, I just want to go on a show and get drunk. Right. You know? know. You know, like, they actually have a plan and they use the exposure as their platform, which I think is so great. And it can totally work. And not just like, oh, you're going to show me next week again, like, laid out drunk in a bar. (laughs) I'm not saying that you do that, but, you know, in some shows they do that. So I like that you have a plan because I can't marry someone without a plan. Perfect. Done. Hey, thanks again, Royce Reed, for being with us. Royce Reed from VH1's Basketball Wives. It was a pleasure. We'll have you on again. Thank you so much. Bye, Royce. Thank you. I'm here, Robert Galinsky, on Robert Galinsky's Reality Wanted with my guest co-host, Terrence Noonan, the Emmy-nominated and Emmy award-winning producer and author. Author. By the way, I have a reality show coming, too. I know. We're going to talk about that. Okay. When we come back from the break, we do have Courtney McKelvey from Tough Love Couples. I'm dying. I have so many questions for her. Good. Okay. Keep them in the box until we get back. Robert Kalinske's Reality Wanted on chatabout.com. Energized by CBS. We'll be back in a minute.